Today we're going to be taking a look at part number C17322. This is the Kurt weight distribution system and it's going to include a sway control system. This unit's going to help evenly distribute the weight over the axles of your tow vehicle and your trailer for safety, stability, and control. It's going to create a more level ride for both the tow vehicle and the trailer. Now this piece right here, this is going to be our sway control system. Uh, the friction sway control is going to reduce sway that's caused by winds, curving roads and sudden maneuvers. It's going to feature the adjustable tension right here. This is going to let you create the perfect degree of control and resistance. You're also going to have the integrated handle. This is going to engage and disengage the system. Now once it's installed, um, the socket right here is going to install over that hitch ball. And that ball can be positioned on either side of the head assembly. But that would go on there. And then you're going to have a spacer plate and the frame ball that's going to attach the system to the frame of the trailer. And uh, the sway control system is going to be held in place with a couple clips. It just goes in the side here and secures it against the ball. And so it's easily removable. All you have to do is release the two spring locking pins and then you can remove the system. But the sway control system is included. Uh, with that system, with the sway control system, you're going to get the actual sway control. You're going to get the sway control ball, uh, the trailer mounted attachment ball, the spacer plate, and all the necessary hardware to get that system installed. Now back to our weight distribution system, we're going to have the trunnion spring bars. These are going to be constructed of solid forged steel for strength and durability. You can adjust the spring bar tension by switching the links in the lift chains. So that's going to allow you to fine tune your system. These right here are going to be our lift brackets. Uh, they get mounted to the frame of our trailer. If we take a measurement of that real quick, we can see that they're going to take up about four inches of space along the trailer frame. And the opening size right here to fit around the frame, that's going to give us a measurement of up about two and three quarters of an inch. So this is going to be ideal for trailer frames that measure two and a half inches in width. But those chains are going to connect to this right here. And then again, you can adjust the spring bar tension by switching the links in the chains. Now the lift brackets are going to come with two different size bolts. You're going to get a two inch bolt, goes into this portion right here, secures it to the frame of the trailer. And you're going to get your four inch long bolts. Now the two inch long bolts are included uh, to fit larger trailer frames. Another neat thing about this system is here at the head assembly, you can actually tilt the head down uh, to get the tilt that you need for your particular application. Um, in order to do that, it's going to use an adjustment rod and washer design. You're going to get two adjustment rods, uh, very similar to spacer rivets. They're going to go in between the opening of the head assembly and the front face of the adjustable shank. And then uh, you obviously use the shorter one for less tilt, use the larger one for more tilt, and it's going to come with two washers so you can add or remove those uh, to get the desired tilt that you need. Another neat thing about those is that's kind of a newer system and it's going to come uh, with a tilt adjustment instruction sheet. Um, and it's going to walk you through that process to get the tilt that you need for your application. <clears throat> also here on the head assembly, we're going to have a 2 and 5 16 inch hitch ball. Now the unit's going to be made from a steel construction. Everything's going to have a nice powder coated finish on it, so it's going to resist rusting corrosion. This lever right here, this is called our snap up lever. This is going to ease the installation by reducing the lifting that's required by the trailer jack to get our spring bars in place. Goes over this portion here. And that's going to assist us in raising and lowering the spring bars. Now, the maximum tongue weight for this unit is going to be 1,000 pounds. The maximum gross towing weight is 10,000 pounds. The unit is designed for 2 inch by 2 inch trailer hitch receivers that are rated for use with the weight distribution system. This is going to be the shank. This portion back here is the portion that goes into your 2 inch by 2 inch hitch. And it comes with the 5 8 inch pin and clip to get that installed and secured. Now the shank length from edge to edge is going to measure about 12 inches long. From the center 
of the mount holes to the center of the hitch pin hole. That's going to measure about 8 inches. And this unit is going to feature a 6 hole mount design. These holes are going to be separated on center apart from one another by an inch and a quarter. Uh, when using this system in the rise position, with the head assembly at the highest setting, it's going to give us a maximum rise of about two and a half inches from the inside top edge of the receiver tube of our hitch to the top of our ball platform. With it installed at the lowest setting, with the shank in the drop position, it's going to give us a maximum drop of about a half inch, and that's still measuring from the inside top edge of the receiver tube of our hitch to the top of the ball platform. All the necessary hardware to get the head assembly attached to the shank is included. That shank is also going to be made from a solid steel construction. That's going to do it for today's review of part number C17322. This is the current weight distribution system with the included sway control system.